Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today, what I got for you guys here is a pretty huge game overview for Marvel's Avengers. It's going to give us a first look at the gear system, new alternate costumes, the skill trees, and a ton more. Now, before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if you could leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support, and I would really appreciate it. So, if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And with that said, well, let's get into this now for those who don't remember a few months back i had made a video talking about my experience playing marvel's avengers at pax west and while during my time playing the game after the demo had ended i got to see essentially the game overview that you're seeing on screen right now with some brand new stuff being added in for the purpose of it being released online there's some gameplay of kamala khan in there and an explanation of course as to what miss marvel is doing in the story of this game as well as some brand new gameplay overall with some cooperative stuff going on so all that stuff is brand new but for the most part this is what I got to see when I was explaining to you the new Iron Man suits that I had seen the gear system and the explanation behind that and so on and so forth I do want to go over this overview bit by bit and piece by piece so first of all talking about the aim bots they look pretty creepy actually and they look really cool when you see that shot of them at night almost like the police with the sirens going on and everything i think that looks really interesting and i wonder if there's going to be some sort of stealth missions surrounding that where you got to avoid them that would be really really awesome and then we can see you know just an army of them being built so that was really interesting and while a lot of this is taking place in new york as we see kamala khan and some gameplay with her character and and they are talking about the fact that she is the one who is reassembling the Avengers as she shows up at that crashed helicarrier, that reclaimed helicarrier, which is where you're going to go to access all of your missions. We see that little gameplay of Tony Stark walking up to that war table. Bruce Banner and Black Widow are waiting there for them. And you can also see very far in the background that Captain America's shield is still there. So they have it ready for him for if he comes back to life or whatever they're going to do to explain how Captain America returns because you're going to be able to play as Captain America throughout this game. I mean, let's be honest. So we'll see how that goes. But S.H.I.E.L.D. is still there and we see the war table. And that is how you access all your missions, whether it's hero missions or war zone missions, which is how you can access either the single player story mode or the online co-op, which you can still play on your own. And then came my favorite part of this game overview. This is something I've been dying to show you guys and have been dying for you guys to see since I got to see it at PAX West. And that's the alternate suits for Iron Man. So the first one you're seeing on screen, this is essentially sort of a prototype suit for Iron Man. What I actually think this is and its story purposes is this is Iron Man's suit after he had lost everything. From the events of a day you know after he had lost all of his goods all of his suits whatever it might be who knows how that's going to all go down but i think this is the suit that he makes out of the last little bits of scraps that he could find or maybe he just goes dumpster diving and creates this suit out of whatever he finds from that it looks very much like a suit that is just made out of bits and pieces that he may have had lying around so i think that's what it is rather than something akin to what we saw in the first iron man film when he takes that first flight i don't think this is like a prototype suit more so than it is a suit made out of scraps and bits and pieces and then there's the original Sin Armor, although we've already gotten a look at that. We've gotten a nice in-depth look at that costume. I really love the original Sin Armor, though. It looks amazing. And then there is my favorite armor for Iron Man so far in this game, and that is the Star Boost Armor. This looks so badass. This is exactly what I was trying to describe to you guys when I had first seen it at PAX West. This white and gold design looking like what is supposed to be his space suit. We saw this, a very quick glimpse of it, actually all the way back during E3 when the original trailer for this game had released at the very end of it you see iron man in space crashing into a satellite or something and he is wearing this armor that we're seeing on screen and then finally we have a look at the prototype armor and this looks really cool as well i'm assuming this is what this game's rendition is of the mark one suit for iron man and like i said when i saw this at pax west it's a lot more of a sleek design for the mark one armor than what we may have expected it's not big and bulky like we've seen it in the comic books or in the first iron man film and i'm guessing that's just because of the way that the character moves and the way that the character's animations are it really wouldn't work to have a big and bulky suit so they had to create a bit more of a sleeker design in order to make things work and honestly i think that's for the better this suit looks really freaking cool in this game and i can't wait to try it out and see what it looks like when you're flying around as iron man and right before we move on to the rest of the game overview, I want to talk about overall the UI design that's in front of us here. Now, it says at the bottom that this is game development and the design is not final, but just talking about it in general, as there may not be 
too many changes made when the full game comes out. We can see that there are outfits, emotes, and nameplates in terms of customization that's going to be available there. I don't know what emotes are going to be like, but if I see the Hulk flossing, I'm out of there. And when it comes to nameplates, I'm pretty sure this is going to have something to do with your hero card. It's very similar if you've played Mortal Kombat or Injustice, how you have sort of a combat card that is personal to you that you can customize. I think that is what the nameplates is going to be for, something that you can customize to add to your hero card that you have in this game. And I'm assuming those are the three categories that we will also potentially be seeing sold in the in-game shop, as we do know that there are going to be alternate costumes that will be sold as microtransactions. They're all pure cosmetic though and they give you no in-game advantage which I think is okay considering the fact that every new hero every new region and for the most part every piece of DLC added into this game is going to be 100% free it needs to be funded somehow and that might work through those alternate costumes you can also see at the top there that there is the objectives which I'm assuming is going to be what you currently have to do with a mission or something and then there's going to be the skills which is going to pertain to your skill tree which we will see in just a moment later on in this trailer then there's the gear which again we will see later on in this video and the appearance which we're currently on the collections which I'm not entirely sure what that could be maybe it's going to be somewhere where you see all the artwork that you've unlocked or any of the collectibles that are potentially within the game world and then there's the roster which is the different characters I'm assuming you're going to be able to select and then we have these two little currencies that are sitting there right above Iron Man in the top right one of them with an Avengers A which is some sort of gold currency and then another with a shield logo which looks to be a more common currency considering the fact that they have quite a bit more of it as opposed to the Avengers currency now this is going to be my complete guess as to what these two currencies are and I can't base this off of anything just a guess just speculation the gold currency with the Avengers a I believe is going to be the microtransaction one that's going to be the one where it's the currency that you can purchase from the shop to be able to get the alternate costumes or the emotes or whatever is going to be sold in the in-game shop think of V bucks if you will I know it's a cursed word but that's essentially what I think the gold currency will be and again it will only be used to purchase things that are cosmetic and nothing that can give you an in-game advantage. And then there's the shield currency, which I'm guessing is going to be earnable and something that you just get and you accumulate through each mission that you play through. And that might be used to get some of the earnable costumes in-game, or maybe we'll have something to do with getting some of the gear that will be available in the game, as that is the currency that I'm assuming you can earn in-game. And then we move on to the gear tab, and this is where things start to feel very Destiny-like to me in terms of the way that you can upgrade your character and in terms of the way that it's all presented here. So you can see, first of all, at the top left, that is your hero card. That is the nameplate, I'm guessing, where each specific character will have things that you can customize and add to your nameplate. This person here, Robo Becca, is level 5 and has the original Sin Iron Man comic book art right there on their nameplate. They got 38 power. They're level 5. They have a bunch of melee ranged and a ton of defense and some heroic added to their character's abilities and you can see there that there are different rarities to the gear but one thing that is to note although it looks like the gear changes your customization and may change the look of your character it does not gear does nothing to actually change what your character looks like in this game it is purely an item that adds to the stats of your character and I gotta say my personal opinion I'm a little disappointed by this I really would have loved to have some sort of customization there and I think the way that it could have worked best is that the customization with the gear changes the base costume for the character so for instance this normal Iron Man suit can be updated by the gear and have its look changed as you unlock new gear and maybe some of the legendary gear can give you some really crazy cool looks for the character and then when you apply an alternate costume it essentially just is a coat on top of whatever you currently have equipped so all the stats will stay there but the cosmetic look of your character is now just that alternate costume then when you go back to the base costume for the character you'll see all the changes that have been made to the character through the gear system that's what I would have hoped for unfortunately that is not the case and oh boy if we're gonna talk about the UI here there is a lot going on now I like that there is actually quite a simplistic option here if you are somebody who doesn't want to get too much into 
the nitty gritty if you just want to find the best piece of gear and let that be the one that's currently equipped on your character there's an option available for you there with a single button press you hold l2 and you equip the best gear that's going to be available in your inventory i think that's great i think that's good for some of the players who don't want to get too complicated for this but when it comes to me i will definitely be looking at those stats and trying to find a way to min max my characters and make sure that they are performing at the best of their abilities there seems to be a heap of stuff going on there at the bottom of the screen a ton of currencies available there i'm assuming a lot of that has to do with maybe making new gear or dismantling gear or whatever it might be i'm not entirely sure but there's a lot of them so that might get a little overwhelming we'll see how that ends up going again one thing to make sure of here is that this is all not final we're still in development and we're still just about six months until this game comes out and then they quickly go over the skill trees and i gotta say after finally getting a look at it and being able to pause the screen and see everything that's available my goodness is it extremely detailed again this could be something that's a little overwhelming so for some players out there who maybe want to play marvel's avengers at a little more casual pace this might might be a bit too much but for me I love this I am eating this up there are so many options here it's not just a minor skill tree that changes some of your abilities no you can have a skill tree for your primary abilities your specialty abilities your capability your utility oh my goodness there is so much here and I cannot wait to try this out and again min max my characters see what the best abilities are within each skill tree to help make the best Iron Man possible I think that is going to be awesome and then finally we got a look at the war table and again i'm really glad we got to take a look at this so that i can pause the screen and actually see what's going on here rather than everything being flashed on screen super quick without me being able to obtain all this information and you can see the differences between the hero missions and the war zone missions currently this is what's available in the american southwest i'm not entirely sure how much of this is going to be explorable i'm not sure if you can explore everything that you're seeing on that war table there if so that would be amazing and i would be very excited about that although i don't think that will be the case so for this hero mission we see it's called breakout it is a level 18 mission and the description of it reads dr pym has identified the location of an aim holding facility the avengers need to go in and break out captured resistance fighters before they're moved to a new location and you can get some guaranteed rewards of rare gear a performance bonus and you can select the mission and you can select the difficulty then we have the war zone mission which is called when walks the Dreadbot. it is a high value target mission once again at level 18 and the description of it reads agent garza would like you to take a closer look at the aims infamous Dreadbot. while the avengers take it down she'll analyze its combat moves and find a weakness the resistance can exploit similar rewards that you saw from the hero mission but an interesting thing to point out there is the person who's leading this mission or leading the avengers into this mission that being agent garza in the comics that potentially could be sarah garza who is an inhuman and she has the abilities to shoot this plasma she can't control where she shoots it so in order to do that she has to use a stark tech suit so that she can control that current i wonder if this could be a playable character in the future or if this will just be a character that's around in the game that is going to be directing us through missions as she is also a shield agent Either way, really cool to know some of the other characters that we're going to see and interact with in this game. And then lastly, as they select that Warzone mission, you can see in the top right there, it shows the strike team of four characters that you can be playing with, and the currently selected character is Black Widow. And that is it. That is all that I have to break down here for this video. I know this was quite a lengthy video, but there was honestly a lot to talk about here. They showed quite a bit of information, and although some of it is a bit blink and you'll miss it, when you do take a look and break things down, there is so much to see here, and you get to see how much is going to be packed into this game from day one. I cannot wait for Marvel's Avengers. This video was extremely impressive and gets me very excited for what's to come with this game. And with that said, I'm now going to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this game overview. If you want to watch it in full with the sound without me breaking it down and everything, the link for that is going to be in the description box below. And with that said, I'm Caboose. And once again, if you could leave a like writing on the video, it shows your support and I would really appreciate it. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.